guys, welcome back to another video with me, William, and today I'm going to be showing you how to share a drive. So I've got an 8GB USB drive plugged in and a 32GB USB drive plugged in. As you can see, they both have the same logo right here. This one has a little, like, you can see, like, it symbols two little people here. This one does not over here, but this one does. So, let me show you, so if it doesn't have that, it's not being shared. Okay, so you want to just right click it, go to properties, sharing, advanced sharing, share this folder, rename it, so I'm going to name it 8GB USB drive, I mean, you do not have that one drive, it all in caps, 8GB USB drive, then you want to go on permissions, and here press Full control, allow, apply, and OK. Then on this one, apply and OK. Then once you're here, just press close, and you should see this. And if you do, that's good. So on this computer, I'm just going to show you it. If I go into this computer, normally you just go into networks, then the computer. So as you can see, I have loads of stuff set up here. Not all of them will work, because if I click on it, cause as I haven't got the device plugged into this computer it won't let me do it where this 8 gb one as you can see it'll let me in with all my songs which are on that USB drive also my main hard drive so I can save other stuff to that um, yeah this one this one and this one actually this is plugged in so it takes you into that but this one that one that one are not in. This is the main hard drive. So a file on the computer. Now let me show you. So if I go into my local disk, you can see the cloud users and the cloud. So if I go into the cloud, you can see all these things. Which if I go down here, also in here. Because I shared that folder. Um, I changed the logo of this so it's not showing it, but if I go here to properties and share, you can see it's been shared. So yeah. Um, let me go over onto my other desktop. This is a different desktop I just plug because it has a couple of USB slots in it. Or actually it has a decent amount of that eight. I just plug a bunch of USBs into it and just have the, the computer running right next to my normal computer and I can just do this. So let's move over to my main computer. Okay guys, so here on my normal desktop, sorry about all this mess, but as you can see right here, I have made a shortcut to it. But let me just show you, if I go into my um, for my um, file explorer, right here down the side, I'll go to, um, I'll go to down here network, and you'll see here the same computers you saw in the last one. So let's go into desktop one. And here you go, you can see all these files. And here's the 32 GB drive that was just plugged in. And the 8 GB one. Here's the video I was just recording that I put on here so I can get it off to edit it. Right there, see? Okay. So that's how you do it. You can leave it as long as the other computer is on that you're running on. As long as it's always on, you'll be fine. It will always be, you'll always be able to access this. If you turn the other computer off, then it might turn off. I use this, just having that separate so I can access it on my laptop and my PC. What you could do is have the devices plugged into your PC and be able to access it on your laptop. Um, but I have a separate machine running it so I can access it on my desktop and PC or desktop and laptop without um, having to change um, stuff up and without having to plug stuff into my main computer but anyway that's how you do it, it's as easy as that, you can do it with as many drives as you want you can, well really it depends on how many USB ports you have um, and USB sticks because that's how you add more storage the easiest way um, this the other computer does have a DVD drive in it, so I'm probably going to be replacing that with another hard drive. But anyway, yeah, 
Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.